Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to show you my Derminator results. Yes, that's right, they're finally here. It has been about two and a half months since I started using the Derminator. I used it first at the very end of April on my face, so it was around May 1st, and then I used it again June 15th, and now it is almost August, and I'm heading into my third treatment, but before I do that, I wanted to show you my results because I think they turned out very, very well. And if you're interested in anti-aging tools, beauty concoctions, whatever, to help us look our best, then I hope you'll consider subscribing and just click that little bell. That way you won't miss any of my anti-aging videos. Now, for those of you who did not see my first video, there's a good intro to this machine that I will link below so you can see that. Basically, it's a little Derminator machine, and there are little heads here that have little needles. The heads that I used on my face were nine needles, and I went to a depth of 0.05, so that was a good standard depth to do one's face. And basically, that Derminator is the tool version, the electrical version, of this little manual device. And a derma roller is just a little kind of torture device with little quills on it. Those are little metal quills there. And basically, in using the Derminator 2, it's a device to easily and effortlessly give your face a full face full of these little needles and I know that sounds barbaric but the whole idea is that it improves the growth of collagen and makes your skin taut more firm and just younger looking and again I use the Derminator every six weeks on my skin which is what they recommend you don't use it on your lips but you do use it all over your face and your neck now I'm going to show you my results but I want to preface it by saying I'm not a photographer I'm not a scientist I am using the same lights in the before and after pictures and I did the best I could to keep my face exactly the same in the before and after pictures so here they are let's look at the full face first and again, these before pictures started around May 1, and now it is almost August, so this was almost three months ago. And in the before pictures, you can tell that my pores on my forehead are a little bit larger, and they look to be a little smaller in the after picture. You can be the judge of that. And also, in terms of my cheeks, it just looks like in the before picture, they were a little baggier and saggier, and that they got a little firmer looking in the after picture there three months later. And then along the chin line, you have to look carefully, but it looks as if the jaw was a little more slack in the before picture, and it certainly looks like it's a little firmer in the after picture, although again, you will have to be the judge. And in terms of the neck wrinkles, they look a little more prominent in the before picture and in the after picture, although I still do have the crepey skin, it looks like the neck wrinkles are decreasing. And just in terms of the overall skin texture, to me, it looks like in the after picture, the skin just has a finer texture, a younger texture. It looks a little bit more glowy and dewy. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the left side picture. And as you can tell in the after picture, to me, it looks like the skin is just overall a little more firmer, a little more plump looking, a little more younger looking. The before picture, things look a little saggier, a little baggier. You can see the sagginess around the chin line there and around those nasal folds there. It looks like things have gotten a little firmer in the after picture. And also, in terms of the neck wrinkles, you can see them a little more in the before picture than you can in the after. Now let's go ahead and look at the right side. And in the right side picture, as you can see, there just seems to be a better skin texture overall. Everything just looks a little more tight, a little more toned. The jawline in the before picture looks a little more slack, and in the after, it looks firmer to me. And in terms of the neck wrinkles, it looks like in the before picture I had a few more, and they've lessened somewhat in the after picture. And I will say, I am not sponsored by this company. I did ask them to send me the device, and I was very excited to get it. But I make nothing if you all buy it, so you know that doesn't matter at all. And I will tell you that if you'd like to learn more, you can follow the link below. And although the company did send me the device, I requested the device because I was so excited about trying it, and I'm so happy that they sent it to me. I don't make anything. If anybody buys anything, they're not sponsoring me. It's strictly my own opinions about the device, and I feel like there was a positive improvement. And in addition to using the Derminator on my face, I also used it on my stretch marks, and I haven't even aired that video yet, but I'm seeing really good results on decreasing my stretch marks, and I'll go ahead and get that video up for you. I also used the Derminator on my arm skin, because I was really double waving, there we go, and I feel like my arms are firming up just a little bit, although some of that may be exercise, because of course I do arm exercises as well. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see those future videos on the Derminator results, you might consider clicking that little bell because that just means you won't miss any of my videos. And if any of you have had experience with the Derminator, good or bad, please leave it in the comments below. I love to hear from you. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I've been reading from these Power Thoughts cards from Louise Hay. Let's see what Power Thought we can think about for today. 
Ooh, freedom is my divine right. Freedom is my divine right. I am free to think wonderful thoughts. I move beyond past limitations into freedom. I am now becoming all that I am created to be. I love this card and to me this card is really useful for me today and I came home and my husband and I got in a little bit of a tiff and I expressed some things that probably I could have expressed in a better way. I was a little bit too angry and you know really I feel bad about that but I realized that freedom is my divine right and I'm free to think wonderful thoughts and I do think wonderful thoughts about him. I don't know what I would do without him. He's wonderful and I'm free to move beyond past limitations into freedom and I'm now becoming all that I'm created to be and really when I look back on the words that I said to him and the anger that I expressed with it that isn't me living up to my highest. I could have expressed those things without all that anger and I'm kind of disappointed in myself but I do have the freedom to change my tune and to live up to all that I'm created to be. It's wonderful that we have the freedom to express ourselves to our loved ones but we also have the freedom to do that in the nicest kindest way possible. Take care! See you next time!